Yeah, so here we are at the uh, Pang Pang site, a site that was found by uh, two of the local staff members of the Vanuatu Cultural Centre, Aroi Philip and Luca Savanu. A really wonderful discovery. We're here, we've been here excavating now for two weeks in ANU Field School and uh, we have uh, excavated probably about 15 square metres only because the deposits are very deep. We're finding uh, Lapida, first settlement in this part of the island, and then uh, the subsequent area, what we call the Eriwiti phase, which is immediately post Lapida uh, phase of, of settlement. What we're finding here, and there's no question that this is a first settlement uh, on this part of the island, we're finding extinct fauna. We've found uh, tortoise bone here, a lot of tortoise bone, or well, more than 200 bones already. Uh, in the soft river sand. So people find this sheltered bay, the big Forari Bay, there's a river, a, a sheltered beach, a river system associated behind it and, the, and it's navigatable. They can come up the river, they sail up the river, sheltered behind the, 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 uh, the beach and then the settlement is on this river terrace uh, sitting above the river. So there's a big flat river terrace behind us and then they're sort of dumping material on the edge of the slope and down the slope so we're finding uh, the material is very very well preserved as I say the two features that we, we without question we know this is a colonizing settlement one is the extinct fauna the tortoise there's lots of tortoise and also a Talisir obsidian okay so direct from New Britain or at least uh, you know the early phase of settlement where people are bring bring Thalassia obsidian with them, we have found uh, a sort of between 15 and 20 obsidian flakes, Thalassia obsidian flakes. Um, the pottery is very well preserved in the soft river sand. There's high concentrations of bone, okay, because when people first arrive, of course, it's a colonizing settlement, they don't have gardens, so they're relying on local resources. There's lots of fruit bat, very, very uh, high numbers of fruit bat. Uh, there's bird and also fish. So classic uh, early uh, signs of early colonizing settlement. So a really uh, very successful field school this year and um, great support from the community, really wa wonderful support from the community here at Pang Pang. And also um, very, very pleased with the results because as I say, we've just really started to excavate the site. It's quite extensive, potentially hundreds of square meters and we've excavated down down to the Lapita levels in only really 10 square meters so it's, it's, it's uh, been a wonderful uh, season this year. Wow, so it's just been a really amazing experience. I mean this is probably my first like official field school. I wouldn't have wanted to dig anywhere else. The, the administrators are great, the program director is great, really accommodating. The local people are fantastic, very nice. Uh, I've made some great friends here, truly lifelong friends. And even with the local people and the other excavators, I've um, become friends with many of the children here. It's been great to see how they interact with um, just what we're doing here and how much they're learning with us. And it's just been truly a great experience. Hi, I'm Annika. I'm Georgia. Um, and we are on a field school trip with ANU at the moment in Pang Pang. Um, yeah, we've, this is the mound we've been working on. We've been finding a lot of Lapita shards, which has been very, very exciting. It's around two, three thousand years old. Um, what's, what's been your favourite part of this trip, Georgia? Um, <laughs> I think I really love the idea that we're excavating something um, and we can pick up a piece of pottery and know that we're the first people that have touched it in the past 2,000, 3,000 years. It's yeah. a pretty amazing feeling, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and it's been great doing field work as well because I don't know, this is your first time as yeah, well? This yeah, this is my first field school. So it's been um, definitely challenging at times, but I think it's been a lot of fun and um, getting to know everyone in the group, 
getting to learn how to dig properly, like, <laughs> methodically, not just, like, digging shovel pits. Yeah, making like it all that. nice and tidy. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, it's been a great experience. I've loved also staying in the village as well. Mm. That's been a blast, getting to know everyone there as well. Yeah. Um, We've been getting to know all the kids. Annika's very popular. <laughs> no. The local kids, they call her Nini. Yeah. yeah. And they draw her pictures. I get many, many, many pictures. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I've had a blast. Like, it's great knowing that this is, our, like, our future jobs, basically, because it feels like a holiday, I guess. Yeah. Just being out here in the outdoors. Yeah, yeah I, can't, I can't imagine a more like beautiful and welcoming place. Yeah, it's be, been so welcoming be coming here. Yeah. yeah, and working with the boys as well has been so much fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so helpful too. Yeah. yeah. Makes me want to learn more Bish Lama. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm River uh, from the Australian National University. I'm doing my master's degree in uh, human evolution and archaeology. I'm, I'm Noah. I'm also at the uh, Australian National University. I'm in undergrad and I'm doing uh, archaeology and astrophysics. Um, yeah, so we are here with the rest of the team um, excavating at the same site in Etok. Um, but right now we're kind of doing our own project. Uh, and the project is uh, discussing the depopulation of Vanuatu. And the way we're doing that is we're going around to um, all the old village locations and trying to find them and talk about the densely populated area that this once was based on the frequency of old villages and compare that to today and yeah, show, show a decrease in people. Yeah, so basically we're getting the GPS coordinates for um, old villages and then also old chiefs grave sites um, which sort of indicate where a village would have been and to do that we going with a bunch of guys who re know all the sites around here into the bush and chopping our way through and then getting GPS coordinates taking photos drawing pictures um, and then also looking at the vegetation surrounding the graves or the old villages because that can tell you a lot about whether the land was cultivated or um, if the soil was disturbed, things like that. So you can get an idea of how uh, large the villages used to be and how densely populated this area was uh, before the missionaries arrived. Yes, we think it's important to plant the land in the land. We have to Okay. Me fly fortunate enough, lo me fly find only find them lovely sea, lo me fly savel all beginning niplo me fly to the star and be now we are little look lo I blo all get us the me fly to we got something and lovely sea. Hi, I'm Gabby. I've been on this field school for over two weeks now. Um, we are have been mostly excavating Mound C. Um, this is actually my first field school as well, so it's been great uh, excavation experience, especially on a mound like Mound C, which has been very tough. There's lots of rocks, shells, um, and it's quite a slog to dig through. So it's been fantastic excavation experience for me, and especially for my first time. Um, and hopefully, I can take this into the field with me back in Australia. <laughs> Hi, um, so my name's Melissa. I've been part of ANU as a student, as a master's student for the last year and a half. And I've been on, this is my third uh, field school right now. I've been in field schools in Australia and also uh, Papua New Guinea with ANU. So this is my third one in Vanuatu with ANU. Um, in terms of experience, it's been very, very eye-opening. Um, every excavation is different. You find like you're with different people, you're with different culture, history, different environments. So each one is like a new learning experience. You do feel like a baby 
when you kind of go into a midfield school. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot of support. Um, it's always a good environment. You're with all these students all kind of learning together and you've got um, good supervisors and conveners and teachers, um, especially with the locals. They help out a lot and you learn a lot from them. Um, yeah, so overall it's a very good experience and would do again, would do my fourth one if I had enough space. Hi, I'm Lauren, I'm a student from ANU, third year archaeology student, and my project is looking at the difference between turtle tortoise utilisation at the beginning of the early like Lapita phase towards the end. So basically we're comparing bones that we found. This one here, this is part of a tortoise scapula, so a shoulder bone. Um, and we're comparing the size of the tortoises during the early phases of settlement towards the end and how that changed once the turtle population started to, started to decline as people, as the human population expanded. Hi, I'm Richard Fleming. I'm a student at Australian National University studying archaeology and I'm here on the dig with um, ANU and uh, people from, Niva, from Vanuatu um, looking at uh, or looking for various Lapita remains. Uh, in this, there's a mound, this is a mound that was identified last year but wasn't dug and so we've started to dig through what's the Eroweti layer um, and we've got quite a few remains of Eroweti pottery in here but we're really trying to go down um, quite a bit further because it's quite a high mound Hi, my name is Oscar. I'm a first year master's student at the Australian National uh, University and uh, this is also my first excavation and first time in Vanuatu. I'm doing my project, my research project on the pottery from one of the mounds that we're working on and comparing it to other Lapita sites on Efate. And uh, some of the pottery we're finding is quite, uh, quite interesting and very decorated. So I've got one here that I'll show. So this shed is very small and very thin, but you can see that it's very nicely decorated with this dentate stamping. And uh, this decoration combined with the, the very uh, thin um, pottery, uh, it indicates that it is from the Lapita period, which is the period that we are most interested in, the, at the, in this site. I started off in a pit that I wasn't finding anything and it was very easy to dig just very loose sand and sediment. Uh, and then just, yes, just a couple of days ago, I was working on a different mound where you're just finding so much material, it's, it gets pretty overwhelming.